Hi everybody, thank you for joining me. I'm Shanna. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in Kansas. I want to thank you for joining me here for my first of the month sweet treat. It is October already. Can you believe it? Oh my gosh, the time, the year is just flying by. Oh, it's just crazy. So, of course, we're entering the fall, and for me, the fall is full of craft shows, and I'm just getting full swing into the craft show season, so it's just busy, busy, busy around my house. Work full-time as a nurse, but luckily, I only have to work three days a week, so um, the other days, I am just busy, busy, busy right now getting ready, because almost every Saturday this fall, I'm going to be doing some sort of craft show. Um, but this day we are working on our sweet treat and my sweet treat for this month is featuring these furry little guys and this stamp set is so cute and versatile because you get four cute little birds that have Christmas, Thanksgiving, Halloween, and Valentine's Day. They snuck Valentine's Day in there. Is that not hilarious? Now, I am filming this right after I did my Facebook Live because um, I didn't want to, I uh, got this ready before Facebook but didn't have time to do this video. So, my Facebook Live, I did this little guy. So, um, I will probably upload my Facebook Live to YouTube, um, most likely after this video, but, so, I don't know, whichever one you watch first but it was really, really fast. But this guy is super cute too, so I do have, will have a video for this guy too, but I'm choosing to do these two guys in my sweet treat. Now, if you don't know what my sweet treats are, they're a card kit, and I give you the blank circle and a blank strip in case you don't happen to have this set. You can still use the card kits for whatever stamp set you do wanna use. Um, because, of course, I can't stamp the images for you. It's against compliance. But you spend $25 with me, you will get this, the card kit, and you can choose to stamp it or use this stamp set for it. You get it with some envo two envelopes and the card kit here in the mail from me with a thank you card for your purchase. So I'm going to show you how to make these just in case you um, choose to make the cards with or without these images. I am going to color these images, but I'll probably speed up the coloring um, just because it does take quite a little bit of time. These guys are kind of, they're fairly simple to color, but I will probably talk a little bit about it after I've colored them um, just to tell you a couple things because this guy over here, I did something special for him. Let's start with our turkey friend. Um, I didn't do anything real fancy with his coloring. I used pumpkin pie for his um, feathers. I don't know. I, I, you know, turkeys, I don't know what color they really are. I, you know, I, I'm a city person. I don't have any turkeys. Um, I did ivory for the pie with a little bit of brown to, you know, make, you know, how it crested. I don't know. I did um, seaside for his apron and peacock because... I did pretty peacock for this gal up here. Now this, I have um, a couple sheets. I may have to buy more paper um, for more customers. And depending on you know if it how well the paper's doing and stuff, I may have to vary people um, depending. So you may not get this exact background, but so that may vary from people customers. But for the most part, it should be this tone um, of background. Um, I am going to use a different, I'm using um, this one for my card, but I kind of want to stick with this color tone um, just because it goes with the Cajun craze. And then I'm trying to stick with this um, DSP for this uh, little strip here because I like the pumpkins. So that's my plan. But let's start with stamping out our little turkey friend here. I'm using Memento because I am using the alcohol markers. The Stampin' Right markers don't work very well for coloring um, because they don't blend as well. 
but they are great for if you want to color make different colors on your stamps themselves so I do have both sets of um, markers so I don't think it is good to have both so I'm going to speed up the coloring part in the video um, my give thanks in black um, you could choose to do it in the pretty peacock if you choose but I was just minimizing my colors here so let's put this card together we're using Cajun craze eight and a half by five and a half not doing too many fancy cars not for my sweet treats and then I have the DSP is four by five and a quarter and then this little guy um oh where's my what did i just do with that sweet treat here we go let me pull the I don't have the measurements written down right here. I have it on my sweet treat instructions. This is, uh, this little part is one and a half by four. So that guy is going to go down right there. And then this DSP here is, oh, excuse me, this, the DSP is one and a half by four, so this guy is one and five eighths by four. Just barely bigger, just enough to see it. And then we're going to put our turkey guy right on top of our scallop circle. And then the burlap, we're going to take a piece of scotch tape and make sure it overlaps, but I need some dimensionals. Very good tape. Put some dimensionals on my give thanks. That guy is going to go at the bottom like that. Grab some scissors to trim up my. That guy's already trimmed, so that'll work. And there's card number one. All right, so let's take our white strip, and our white strip is um, five and one eighth by seven, one and seven eighths. And we're gonna take our little bird, and they like barely fit across here so I'm going to stamp him in the middle first and then stamp 
something to the side and stamping to the other side and there you go he barely fits and then for the sentiment My Night and Navy is really juicy, so I want to let that dry. So I'm just going to scoot that up there so I don't put my fingers in it. All right, now I just want to tell you a little thing about coloring this one bird. So, my guy over here, I am using Light Pretty Peacock in the colorless blender okay i'm using this end use that end and okay so i'm letting go all the way up on that and i'm kind of trying to feather so up like that and i left Kind of a hole there so I went around the edge here so I'm leaving a hole in the middle on purpose okay and I want a little bit darker there and now I'm taking the feather end, this, and I'm circles. Push up into the feather. And then take a little tip here, there. And pull towards that circle. So pull towards the empty circle. And then I did circles. And I'm just kind of saturating him. So he does smear a little bit. But I'm trying to lighten. And then I want to take this one out. I did just a little bit because I did kind of try to. But I was trying to lighten my pretty peacock because I didn't want it that dark. And then I'm trying to fill in that circle so that I get some color, but I don't have it starch white, but I don't want it um, So then I'm going to leave him alone, okay? All right, this guy's yellow, and then this guy is two, two, two colors of seaside spray. And then this guy in the middle is daffodil. And then my hat is real red, um, light, and a little bit of cherry to highlight it. And then I'll come back and show you how I do the puff paint. So I'm going to fast forward through the rest of this. coloring these little stars. I'm taking the gold metallic and a q-tip. 
and I'm taking a little bit, well, try and take a little bit of, let me grab another. I'm gonna wet my Q-tip a little bit here. And then just dab the Q-tip in the gold ink, okay? And then just dab the star with the Q-tip. Dab the star, okay? Now, the puff paint. So, shake it up. And then be very gentle. Put a little dot. Little dot. Just barely squeeze because it comes out fast. And then make a little trail for the brim of the hat. I'll probably speed this drying time up so you don't have to listen to it. Um, but I'll try not to do it too terribly fast because you want to see it. But I don't think you want to listen to my thing. So... to show you how it puffs definitely didn't help me because I didn't want to puff up right so don't uh, manipulate it around when you're doing stuff because that affects it so when I put it down and you can add as you can tell I put it down and added more and uh, my guy there's hat looks funny but hey you know what it's it's homemade so that's what happens so Let's uh, get these guys down on a card. So I don't want to... I have mailed these things with the puff paint, and they get squashed a little bit, but they're okay. So I got that down on my thing. So I'm going to fold my Whisper White, which of course is eight and a half, five, five and a quarter. And then this is three by four. This is from the um, Brightly Gleaming Paper. And it's going to go about there. And then this is a large circle. And that's going to go up there. And I'm not going to put this on. Um, any sort of trying to gingerly put a snail on this because I don't want to squish my. So I'm going to put those guys down like that. Um, then I'm going to put my sentiment up here on my circle and then I had the star elements they're part of the brightly gleaming suite and I'm going to put that little guy we're going to put him right there because I didn't leave any space at the end so there we go that is the two cards, part of my sweet treat. So, hopefully you will enjoy this 
set as much as I did because I think it's super adorable. And thank you again for watching and please like, um, give my card a thumbs up, my video. Please share with your friends. Um, I will have the host code down below with my store. If you're at all interested, you'll get this sweet treat as part of my thank you for a $25 purchase. Thank you so much for watching. Appreciate it. Bye.